Bees sometimes get a bad rap because people don't want to get stung. However, we often overlook the critical role they play in agriculture. KSAN's Aaron Hunter went out to learn more about the basics of beekeeping and how these little insects make a big impact. any kind of agriculture you need pollinators um, or else you know our food wouldn't be what it is today so there is plenty of buzz about bees every summer but the fear of them prevent folks from learning more about them but no worries we are out here today and we are going to learn how to be a beekeeper here this is all nectar and you have a little bit of pollen in here you could see like yellow oh wow in early spring inspections are at the top of the list for beekeeper Jeremy Granado as the bees are freshly coming out of the hibernation period. And when I do my inspections, I look for queen cells, mm -hmm. seeing if there's anything wrong. They could have different deformities. Due to pesticides, pollution, and climate change, among other issues, bees are reportedly on the decline. But Granado says with genetics, he can continuously make new colonies. With beekeepers, we're able to maintain them, establish them, grow them, um, and produce healthy bees, colonies, and uh, help with pollination. So, the queen right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can tell because she's so much bigger than everyone. Yeah. And your relation that goes to a whole thing where I could get her eggs, like say this is a great laying queen, I will get her eggs, take it somewhere where they don't have a queen and force them to make queen cells and I can make 40 queens at once. Oh my gosh, that's insane. So. Recently, a call was reported in the Concho Valley about a swarm that turned out to be an attack. For those of us who fear the bees, it's good for us to know that there's actually a difference between the two. If you get attacked, just leave it alone, walk away. You, know, you, st you still mess with it. If you stay close in the, the general area, they're just going to be popping you and chasing you down. And I think, unfortunately, they lost a dog in that one. Bees naturally swarm, and that happens when they outgrow it, so there's too many bees, but also uh, not enough room for the queen to lay. So when the nectar starts coming in, they start filling up the cells with nectar or pollen. If she don't have any room, they need to, hey, we need to go somewhere else, start a new colony. And with us just on the brink of summer, sometimes that new colony is set up in your backyard. Uh, don't be scared. If you think you have an issue uh, or a bee colony in the structure, uh, there is websites and uh, local people here that actually do removals and will more than gladly help you out. He's showing us all the nice bees, but the bigger the hive gets, the feistier they get because they have more honey and more nectar to protect. We're not going to touch those bees because Erin, <laughs> this is enough for her. They are essential not only to Earth's existence, but also to our economy. Without it, our food would cost a lot more to produce, and farmers would spend a fortune trying to pollinate their own crops. But these bees, Queen Bee's honey bees, are making a much wider variety of products for the community. The lip balms, waxed honey, or uh, wax uh, cut comb, um, any kind of beeswax, beard balm, stuff like that. Before I left, we of course had to taste some fresh honey right out of the comb. You said this is a bit grainy, but it's not anymore because right. it's been sitting in the sun, right? Right, so real honey will crystallize, and mesquite honey crystallizes pretty quick, and all that does is the natural nectar and sugar mm. will, will get hard. So whether you think this process is the bee's knees or it gives you the heebie-jeebies, Granado urges the public... Don't kill the bees. For News Connection, I'm Aaron Hunter.